Hey, it's Meg. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a journal with me session in this patchwork journal that I created in last week's video. So if you haven't seen last week's video where I was making some of the pages to go inside this journal and um, assembling the journal into the book cover, then I will leave a link down below so that you can catch up on that because it was a really fun process to put this journal together and um, I'm really excited to start decorating it and adding different bits and pieces to this journal. I've got some pockets that I want to add with little envelopes, I've got journal cards, I've got some stickers, um, some florals, I've got lots to hand. I just love how it's looking um, without even anything in it so to be able to add some more stuff to it I think will be really fun. So yeah that's what I thought we would do today is just work on adding kind of like base decoration to some of the pages just to give um, well even more to work off because I feel like the pages already have a lot to go off because they're not just plain but I'm just going to add some extra like bits of decoration. So what I've got here are the MU ribbon stickers and I thought these would be really nice because they could blend across some of the um, like patchworked elements. So I'm just going to pick out these ones here because they are um, like cream so they're quite neutral for this spread. So I've got a couple of different sheets and I just thought that these would be really nice just in some of the corner elements so I'm just going to cut out some of the ones that I think might be nice and then just add them to some of the pages so there's some nice like corner ones as well that I think will be nice so let's add those to this page because this is quite neutral um, and I kind of want to keep things pretty neutral still so that I've got um, a nice canvas to work on when I actually do like a journal spread, like a full on page rather than just the bits of decoration. But yeah, I just wanted to say as well, thank you so, so much everyone um, for your really nice comments um, and support with last week's video. Um, you guys seem to really enjoy the um patchwork journal which is great because i'm absolutely loving it too that looks really nice and what i love about these ribbons is that they don't add too much like bulk to your journal page um, and they just blend in seamlessly so um you can even see obviously through the ribbon the like page number and things so I just thought that these would be a really nice touch. It's just really nice to work like on different pages. So sometimes um, I will work on like a whole journal page um, and then sometimes I kind of jump between different pages depending on what I feel like. How do you journal in your journal? I'd be really interested to know. Are you kind of like a, a one page from back to front uh, kind of journaler or do you like hop around in your journal? Um, I know some people even just like to do full spreads, but they'll do like, um, they'll do different pages. So they might work on like one page from the back and then go to the front of the journal. Um, I kind of, I don't know, I feel like with, with this journal, I'm, I'm really keen to like sort of just go wherever it takes me. But um, some of my other junk journals, I do tend to work um, front to back. Um, but it's really nice to just do like little bits of journal pages um, with these like craft with me videos. Um, I think that's what I want to start doing. When I do full journal spreads, to sit down and do one from start to finish, like I do enjoy it, but um, sometimes if I'm not feeling like inspired or like I don't know what I'm gonna do exactly, um, it can feel a little bit forced. So it's nice to be able to jump around within the pages. So that's kind of what I'm trying to do with this journal and just experiment with just, you know, maybe adding a little bit on one page and then coming back another day and adding something else. Because I always find that if, if I like do a page from start to finish and like force something like force myself to create something I might not be like as pleased with it as if I was to 
come back maybe like a day later or a week later. Sometimes I come back with like new ideas that I wouldn't have thought of if I was just sort of creating in the moment, if that makes sense. So yeah, that's why I'm trying to work this way in this journal. So I think I'm gonna add a few more of these to the like tea stained elements of this journal and then what i also want to do is add in some um little envelopes as well and they are so so cute so i'll just stick this one down and then i might try and see if i can add one of the little envelope maybe i'll add one of these um glassine envelopes to here as a pocket perhaps and um, let's see I kind of want to add it to a page that's got some more um like lighter lighter paper um maybe here because i'm trying to build out on this page the page is very plain because i wanted to make sure i had the illustration on this side i've been trying to work out how i can do maybe a little bit of collage and things because if I add this envelope here this could be really nice to add in one of the journal cards that we made in the masterboard video that I posted a few weeks ago. I'll leave a link down below to that as well because I made these little cards using some recycled packaging paper and just some scraps but this could be a really nice place to put one of those actually so I think I'm gonna um, glue this envelope down and I'm gonna glue the flap to there as well so that it's just sort of a clean pocket without the closure because the card is obviously bigger than the envelope itself and because it's clear as well it doesn't kind of really stick out on the page that's kind of why I want to put it across something that's a little bit plainer because if I put this on like brown craft paper or something it would kind of stick out like a sore thumb a bit so I just want to put it on something that it will pretty much blend into almost and then I can just slot in the little card like so. Maybe we'll add some like washi tape or something to the really kind of harsh join that we've got going on here. So that's a really nice little element and then the back is just plain as well if I wanted to add some journaling or anything like that. Let's see where else do I want to add? This is an absolutely tiny envelope. It's so, so cute. Maybe I'll add it further back in the journal. Ooh, maybe I could add it, add it here. Maybe this could be a space for like a little tag or something that would be, that would be quite cute. Um, I think I'm gonna add it maybe, maybe here. And then it will just be a prompt for me to work with once I start um, doing some like actual journal pages within this journal. So I'm just gonna off center it slightly. And um, I think I'll just leave it with the flap for now because I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. So we'll just leave that there for now. And then, ooh, I could maybe even overlay one of these um, rub-on stickers. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Let's see if I can open this and grab maybe one of one of these maybe just a nice little leaf would be quite nice so the nice thing about these is that you get the full illustrations like the the flower and the leaves and then you also get ones that are just um the flowers and the leaves separately so that you can kind of build your own like little bouquet almost if you wanted to but i think this leaf will be like really cute to just uh, layer on here. So I'll just add it there. It's really, really tiny, um, but that way it kind of blends into the page. And so what I think I might do is add some stamping to some of the pages as well. So things that are going to add interest to the pages without adding too much bulk. That's kind of what I am. Um, focusing on at the moment. So I've got this cherry blossom stamp that I got from a stationery shop here in the UK called Miso Paper. Um, it's an absolutely beautiful stamp and I'm just going to use some sepia ink, it's a Versafine, just to do some stamping on some of the pages. And I just think this is blending in really, really nicely 
with um, some of the papers that we have got in this journal kind of like a, a fainter fainter stamp so that looks quite nice um and then what else shall we do and i've also got this little label stamp as well that might be nice to start adding to some of the pages so i'm just going to add the same ink to that i might stamp it here again just trying to push down so i get a nice um stamp on this page and then maybe i'll add one of these got some stickers here that um i want to use on some of these pages there's also some like uh foliage kind of leaves as well um or a yellow one would be quite nice um, I tend to just sort of go through these and just pick out ones that I think might look nice on the page and then um, then I'll choose once I've picked them out. That one's quite nice as well. Um, and the nice thing about these is that they are um, like washi stickers almost. So they blend in really nice to, um, to my pages. So they don't have a really like harsh white background, which I'm not really a fan of with um, some of the stickers that you can get. I kind of want to use this one maybe here. And to be honest, I might just kind of overlap it slightly. Pop it there, shall we? Because I think that looks nice to kind of go over the join slightly. There we go. And I'm just going to press down on this so it kind of blends in at least a little bit onto the paper. And then maybe some washi tape as well just to add a little bit of interest to the page. There we go. So that's a really nice little um, spot that we've got there. And I'm trying to kind of work in little sections as well. Um, so you'll have seen in like this place here, we've got this kind of all within this section here. So maybe let's add some more of these stickers. So these were the ones that I had um, picked out that I really liked. Pages that maybe have the plainer paper where you kind of will have them blend in a lot more so I think this will be a really nice spot for one of the stickers perhaps. Let's see, do I want it in this corner? Maybe this corner, that's quite nice. Kind of works as a little bit of a border for the the little collage element that we've got going on so the the element that's here is what I'm kind of looking at working around oops I've ripped it oh no <laughs> it's okay these are so fiddly but they're really nice um, I love having these in my journal so let's just peel the backing off of this one and then I'm gonna add it just to the corner here can almost imagine this kind of being like the central um focal point of um the journal page um i think this has kind of got enough going on already without these maybe a little rose would be quite nice down here or we've got a a yellow because we do have the yellow there as well but i'm kind of leaning towards the little rose so this one is going to be really fiddly to um, peel the backing off, I can already tell, because it's so, so small. Um, I just want to add it to the, like, the join of the journal page here. And I also have this little booklet that I've been using a lot. Um, there's a lot of pages missing from this that I've already used, um, but it's like a little sheet of um, vellum printed uh like there's some florals but there's also little like music sheets and stuff and I think some of these might be really nice kind of like stapled in or just kind of washi taped in to some of the pages so let's see which ones I think might be nice to use there's some nice colored ones and then also some um like outliney black and white ones so let's 
Um, some of them are quite like busy and dark, which I'm not really a fan of, but these ones are quite nice. And sometimes I just like to use the like music sheet element of the, um, the vellum as well and just use that as an element to glue down onto a page just for some extra like um, interest where again it's not adding too much bulk or taking anything away from the page because it kind of blends in a little bit so you know something like that so I'm just going to see if there's any more of these that I would like to use uh, let's see that one's quite nice um, I really like some of the outline ones, like just the black and white ones. They're really nice because, again, they don't detract too much from what we've got going on uh, on the page. So I'm just going to kind of go to um, some of the other pages that we've got here and see that would be really nice because it just kind of um, blends in to the page. So I might just glue this one here. Then maybe add some washi tape to this page as well just for some extra interest because this one's quite plain at the moment so um, I'm just going to add maybe some of this uh, MT washi just up the top here maybe I'll put it up against the edge actually that way it'll look a little nicer and I'll just trim the edge of this here there we go and so yeah, this is just a really nice uh, relaxing way to start building up some of the pages that we've got in this journal and just adding different elements to it. So I might even try to maybe do some washi tape on this one and I'll just leave it like that for now. Um, so let's see, we've not added anything to this page. So the other thing I have to hand as well is that I went through the... Um, floral books that I have and I just pulled out some of the pages that I thought would be really nice to work with and I thought that maybe I could add them into this journal as like tip-in pages as well because I would really like to have some like different sized pages to work with so for example this I might end up just actually cutting these out as individual um, illustrations to add as elements to my page but these ones here they're quite large so I think these would be really nice to use as just sort of tipped in pages especially something like this where we do have the like space um, around it that we could work with so I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fold this here and then um, just tear this along because um, I don't mind having the rough edges on my pages. So here and then, let's see, this is kind of a bit big, so we'll probably want it to be about here. And then I will trim this as well. So this is kind of like, I don't know, giant tip-in pages almost. Um, I just thought it would be really nice to do and then we can work on the back of the page as well. Um, but I just thought it would be such a shame to not include kind of like these really big illustrations within this. Um, and I think I'm just gonna leave that kind of rough edge, but what I might do is just come in with my corner rounder and see if I can't just give those a bit of a yeah that looks really nice it just kind of differentiates it from uh, the rest of the page and do I want to, maybe I will trim, yeah I'm feeling like I need to trim this slightly at the bottom here so I'll have to recorn around that actually but I'm just thinking I can get rid of some dead space there and have this be um like this almost um, and then it comes across to here so I'm just going to put my corner rounder on to this again and then I'm just going to tape it in with some washi tape so I'm going to use actually this um, pastel 
washi tape that I got recently um, because it matches this quite nicely. So I think I'm going to use the pink here and I'm just going to line it up where I would like it. So I'm thinking maybe towards the bottom so we get this nice bit of paper peeking through there. And then what I can do is just come along, measure how long I want the washi tape to be and then stick it down here and then I'm obviously going to go um, to the other side as well and add some washi tape onto the back as well so that it's um, nice and secure within the journal. There we go and I think I might just use some like brown like craft colour on the back just because we don't have the pink here so it doesn't matter too much what the colour is and this kind of goes with um, things that are already on the page as well so I'm just going to add this to the back here and then we've got a nice tipped in page here so I think I'm going to tip in some of these other larger illustrations as well um, and I think I'm going to just um, fold the bottom here because I don't need all that dead space at the bottom of the page. I just want to focus on getting the illustration tipped in to the journal. So I think we're going to have to do that and then um, maybe from this side I will fold in because it's a little bit too wide. Um, it will kind of cover the whole page pretty much um, but I think that's a really nice effect to just have like a bold image um, on one of the journal pages. So I think maybe we trim this side as well just so that it's not like a complete cover of the page. So I'm just going to trim this down as well. Then I think I might just leave the top as is. And again, I'm going to come in with my corner rounder and I'm just going to do the top and the bottom. And then where should we put this? So let's maybe go a bit further ahead within the journal. Again, I'm going to come in with the washi tape and I think I'm just going to use the brown for this one. I'm going to come in with some more grid as well. So this is kind of like a patchwork of washi tapes here just to stick this uh, tip in in. So there we go. We'll just add this one in as well. So I've kind of patchworked with the washi tapes as well. So I think that looks really nice there. Um, and, and then for the back, I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do with the backs of the illustrations. I could probably maybe cover it completely um, or start just like journal on it as I would in a junk journal. Um, but we'll see. So let's add in this one. This is a really nice, like delicate illustration of some sweet peas which is lovely so let's add this one in and maybe I'll try and go for a different shape on this one go for something that's maybe a little bit shorter just so that we've got some variety in these pages so I will pull up this probably to about here I don't want to pull it in too far because I do like the little illustration that's right on the edge so I'll just pull this part off And then let's trim, let's trim that part off too. So in comparison, this one is kind of a more landscape one, whereas these ones are um, portrait. So again, I'm just gonna add my corner rounder. I just think this adds just a little bit extra to um, something that's being tipped in. So I think let's try and spread these out. So we've got one there, then we've got a few pages and another one. So let's maybe come 
further back and I'm kind of going to see where it fits. Oh, it's quite nice there. So maybe up the top. So I'm just going to use, let's just use the brown washi again and the pink because that was a really nice soft colour for this. Okay, so that looks really nice as a sort of extra page on this part of the journal as well. And then I think I want to add maybe a couple of more of these little envelopes to the journal. So let's see where we want to add these. I mean, this pink goes really nicely with these um, flowers. So maybe we could see this page is kind of a bit too busy for something like this, I feel. So maybe that doesn't go there for now. Um, it does go with this, however. Maybe we could add it to this page. That would be quite nice. Let's add it to there and then we can always decide uh, what to do. Because another thing might be quite nice to kind of, you could almost add it like as in its own little tip in. Um, but I think the, I like the idea of having it as a envelope to be able to add something into the pocket. So I'm just going to stick this down here just so that it goes with obviously the pink in the flowers, which is quite nice. So let's just glue that maybe about here. And then, yeah, so that's like nice and um, coordinating with that. And then I've been thinking about this envelope and I'm wondering whether I could, um, these are like my least favourite pages by the way, <laughs> these are going to need some work, I think I like this side, I'm not, I'm not too keen on this, maybe I'll have to cover this up, um, I'm really not keen on how that's turned out, um, but I'm thinking maybe I could, um, like put this over the, maybe the side of the page, oh maybe if I put it like in the corner you can kind of see it still because I'm thinking if I glue the tab down here then that's a really nice element on the side of this page and then then it flips out into a kind of little secret pocket on this side of the page so that might be quite nice to do and then I could just like paper clip it down um, so that it doesn't kind of like flap around too much so maybe let's add that there too. Um, and then that way we get both of the bits of embossed uh, detail on two different pages as well. So let's line this up towards the top of the page, fold it over, make sure it's nice and flush. And then I will just stick that down like so. And then, yeah, that pops out nicely. We've got a nice little sort of tuck spot pocket there. And then I think that would look really nice with a little paper clip or something and maybe a bit of fabric um, coming off it. And I can also see it through um, this page here. Um, now, I kind of want to add more of these journal cards. So I'm just going to go through and find the places where we did the built in pockets. And I've got all sorts of different cards here that I made. So I'm just going to kind of pick through uh, some of my favourite ones that I created and kind of see which ones um, that I would like to include. So let's see. I really liked these ones. That one was nice. That one was nice. I mean, loads of them were nice. They were all nice. But I'm just trying to pick through ones that I might want to use within this journal so let's see I kind of want to pick one that's got like a lot of interest kind of towards the top of the card just to tuck in so I'm going to add this one into here and then we also had a pocket at the front didn't we on one of the front pages in this one here so I think I will add Maybe this one, although this one's quite tall. So maybe I will make a um, journal card at a later date that is um, a lot taller, but I'm just gonna add 
this one maybe for now one of these i'm just gonna add this one for now and then i'll probably come back and add a larger like card to that um pocket because i could even come in and like just paper clip some of the cards like just to the side of the page as well they don't have to be um in pockets like this one so i could do that as well um oh and of course we've got this giant pocket here which probably deserves its own tall journal card actually so maybe i'll do um a separate video doing some of the larger journal cards for this journal this is what we've done so far it's not a lot but i've just kind of gone through all the different pages and just kind of like started adding little bits of um, embellishments and stamping um, and these little, like ribbon stickers and also some pockets with the little journal cards in them we've also got as well the tip in um large illustrations which i really love so yeah i think i'm going to leave it there for today so i hope you've enjoyed me kind of uh jumping through the pages of this journal adding in like with this envelope here some of these little um interactive elements and some like larger tip-ins to the page um so yeah i'm really loving how this journal um, is looking and I'm really enjoying working in it and kind of you know adding these little different bits and pieces to the journal so I hope you enjoyed today's video um, and I will see you guys in the next one bye guys